on guys i'm back here for the third and final part of my halloween and michael myers collection in this video i'm showing off all of my t-shirts i got a couple of comic books as well as a few other masks and some posters as well um, i don't have as much to show off in this video so this won't be as long as the last part but i'm going to go ahead and get started and the first thing i'm going to show off is actually something i got yesterday from hot topic and i was just so happy i found this because this is such a cool um halloween a long sleeve shirt. I'm going to go and show that off right now. So here it is, and as you guys can see, this is a Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers a long sleeve. And um, yeah, this is just really cool. Um, it looks a lot brighter on the camera, um, so I, it's kind of hard to see the, the three images, but right up here it says, you know, Halloween, and then down here, The Curse of Michael Myers. And like right here, you have that shot of, um, I forget her name. But it's right after uh, when um, it's right after uh, Michael kills her boyfriend when he's in the shower, and it comes up behind her. Um, I'm just forgetting. I'm blanking out. I'm blanking on her name. Um, but it's that uh, scene right there. And then right here in the middle, you got the great shot of Michael. You know his mask, and then his hand holding the knife, which is one of my favorite images of Michael. I love the cover for uh, the Curse of Michael Myers. Um, you know, I've always loved that image of Michael. You know, it's one of my favorite images of Michael. And then right here is the scene when he uh, when he uh, kills the nurse right after um, she helps uh, Jamie escape at the beginning of the movie, and uh, he sticks her on he sticks the uh, the spike um, through the back of her head. Just you know, three really awesome images. Um, you know, I like the blue, I like the orange. I'm like I said, it's 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 not as bright. Um, the camera is making it look a lot brighter. So I hope you guys can see uh, see them really well, but. And then down the sleeve right here, I love this. You know, you got the uh, the image from the uh, the front. You know, Michael holding the knife. I just love that. Down the sleeve right there. And then on this sleeve right here, it says Halloween, cross like that. And then it says the Curse of Michael Myers, right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it over because there's images on the back as well. And uh, some really great images on the back. Go ahead and show. Yeah, here we go. Right here in the middle, you got the great image of Michael when he's holding the axe, um, which is another awesome image of Michael right there. And then you got that one image when he realizes that, uh, you know, when um, uh, Tommy Doyle is trying to trick him into thinking that he's going to give, uh, uh, when he's going to give a little. Um, Jamie's baby to him, and he kind of just looks at him because he knows that, you know, Tommy is lying. And there's a few other images right here. There's that other image of when Michael, you know, sticks the uh, the nurse, uh, the spike into her head right there. And there's another image right there. I absolutely love the images that they chose, you know, for this shirt. I love the color uh, design and everything, and it's just an awesome shirt. And you don't often see, like, the Curse of Michael Myers, like, shirts and stuff like that in stores. You know, of course you can get them online, but, you know, for some, find something like this in a store, very, very cool. And like I said, I got this at Hot Topic for anyone that is uh, interested. Alright, now there's some... Next shirt right here is, of course, the classic Halloween logo right here. It says Halloween, the night he came home. I love wearing this shirt on Halloween. Um, you know, and I just wanted a shirt. I was really happy I found this. I think I got this at Walmart, I think. Um, but I've always wanted, you know, uh, a shirt that just has the classic image. I've had this for years. I think this is my my second oldest Halloween shirt. I've had this one for a very long time. And, you know, I just love that it's just the classic pumpkin. Um, the camera is making it look a lot brighter. But it's actually more orange. The camera is kind of making it look a bit uh, reddish, I think. But it's definitely more orange. But, yeah, love that shirt. Now this one I think I got from, got this at Hot Topic as well. It's this really awesome Halloween 2, sort of retro style, um, you know, it's supposed to look like the uh, VHS cover. Like you got the classic horror sticker right there and it says stereo. Um, I've never, uh, of course the original Halloween 2 VHS did not look like this. Um, but this is still a really cool design, you know, it even has, you know, the VHS logo right there. And the information about the movie. And, uh, yeah, just a really, really awesome shirt. And I love the, 
the front cover of Halloween 2. I even love the fog around it. You know, it's just such a really cool design. And I've always loved the uh, the Halloween um, Jack Lantern and the skull. Let me move these over. All right. Next one right here, I got this from Spencer's, I think. It's Halloween Safety, a sister's guide. I love these shirts. They have a lot of them at uh, Spencer's right now, but I just love this one. You know, you know, Lori reading uh, Tommy a book. You know, and you got Michael standing behind him, and the jack o' lantern, Halloween Safety, and Mike and uh, Tommy is wearing his um, um, you know, his NASA or not his NASA, his um, you know, shirt right there. Got the little American flag, a sister's guide. So yeah, very, very cool, um, very cool shirt. And um, yeah, like I said, Spencer's Gifts has got a lot of these. Not not just Halloween, but a lot of them. Like they have one of them that has these two kids uh, standing over their friend. And it says something like, let's let's sacrifice Toby. And you know, they're just supposed to be like fun little, they're supposed to look like little kid um, things. And they're all like really messed up. Like one of them is like, you know, let's summon demons and stuff like that, and I, I love it. And I, I, when I saw this, I knew I just, I just had to get it. Up next is uh this one. I think this is the oldest Halloween shirt that I, that I have. Um, you know, I love the front image of of, of Halloween Four. I love the poster. I love the way Michael's mask looked on the on the poster, and I wanted to get a shirt that had that. Um, I'm not a big fan of the yellow going down it um but i do like the image of michael's mask and i like how it says halloween on it i just kind of wish it didn't have the uh the orange you know yellowish orange uh lines going down it but still a cool shirt okay next one right here i think i got this at uh spencer's as well um this is just a cool shirt that has you know michael jason freddie and ghostface and chucky and they're all sort of sitting around um, and there's different, um, Easter eggs in it. Like, over here, there's, like, a jack o lantern with a knife in it. Um, there's Jason's, um, mom's head, and then Leatherface's chainsaw right there. You know, just, there's just a lot of different little, um, you know, little Easter eggs all the way around this shirt. I really like it. And that is it for the shirts. Now I'm going to move on and show off uh, the comics and uh, magazines. I don't really collect a lot of comic books or magazines. I got this one um, when the original, I mean when um, the new Halloween came out. Because I wanted to get one, you know, I wanted to get a magazine that talked about This is Rue Morgue. You know, Halloween, the boogeyman is back. You got the image of Lori when she's younger from the first movie. And when she's older and you got Michael right there. Very, very cool. And I got this one back when Rob Zombie's Halloween came out. Um, you know, Revolver Magazine, um, pretty cool. And a couple of comic books. Like I said, I don't really collect these. I actually got these both from a comic book store that used to be in a, at a mall near me. Um, unfortunately, the mall no longer, uh, the store no longer exists. Um, but I got these two comic books from that store. Um, the first Death of Lori showed issue number one and then Halloween Night Dance. There we go. All right, next thing I'm going to show is something that I've shown off in every single video, and um, I've never looked at it. Um, it's this interactive CD from Spencer's Gifts, the world's Halloween headquarters, back when Spencer's Gifts used to have a lot more horror and Halloween stuff. Um, of course, they don't anymore, but it's the are you, Who Are You Scaring interactive CD that has Michael on it. Um, I don't know anything about it. I don't know what's on it. I just got it because it had Michael Myers on it. I've never looked at it or anything. Now I'm going to show off my two uh, phone cases. This first one right here is uh, the one I have on my phone right now. It's this great image of Michael with the knife. And you can see uh, Jamie right there with the knife and then the house. There you go. It's a little bit dark, but... Yeah, you can see the house right there, and then Jamie holding the knife, and then Michael right there. Really, really love this image. And then this one I love as well. This image of Michael, and you got the, uh, you know, the girls are in the, uh, are in the leaves all around it. Really love this one. Very, very cool. All right, now I guess I'll show off the two uh, Michael Myers masks. Now I got these for free from a friend years and years ago. Um, and they're really not good masks, um, which is probably the main reason why I gave them to me for free. You got this one right here. You got Michael with, uh, blue lips. 
and um, as you can see his hair is falling out and everything and it just you know they're just not not really great masks show off this other one right here yeah they're just not I mean he had other masks but he gave me these for free and I remember I wasn't collecting Michael Myers masks or anything I wasn't really collecting a lot um, back when I got these when I was younger, um, I was mostly collecting figures and things like that. So when he gave these to me, these were like, I was really happy he gave them to me, you know, for free, because I never owned a Michael Myers mask. But, um, yeah, they're both, you know, they're, they're just not, not, not really good. Um, I am really happy to finally have the Trick or Treat Studios original, um, Michael Myers Halloween mask. Um, alright, so now I'm going to finish off and show off, um, some artwork that was done by a local artist named Tracy Lupton and he did this great Rob Zombie Halloween um, right here with the Myers uh, tombstone and then the you know the clown mask very very cool I really like this Tracy Lupton is a great artist I have a lot of his prints and um, yeah when I saw this one this was the first one I ever got from him I knew I had to have it and I'm going to show off this small little Halloween poster right here and the reason why I, I wanted this one is because it has the image from Halloween 4 which like I said I absolutely love I love the look of the mask on the poster for Halloween 4 and I love the house I wish that the mask on the uh, in the uh, mask in the movie looked like the mask on the poster but you know I really love this poster this was actually the first poster I ever got um, for Halloween and um, yeah it's just a small poster and I uh, really like it I don't collect a lot of posters because I just don't have space to hang them um, but yeah there's that one and the last one right here is an original Halloween poster um, I don't know if this is like an original poster but it is a poster for the original movie I my mom actually got this for me from the from where I work at now they had a uh, they do a lot of stuff around Halloween and um, up in the uh, office areas you know they decorate and uh, uh, somebody was decorating with uh, classic Halloween or classic horror movie posters. I also got a Jaws poster and a Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster from up there, but this was the Halloween one. It's not in perfect shape. There are some, um, you know, it has a couple of uh, little, you know, areas. There's like a rip at the bottom, but um, other than that, it's in pretty good shape. It is, um, you know, it is in a frame. Unfortunately, it fell and. Um, yeah, so we've been trying to get a, a new frame for it, um, which I hope to eventually and put it back on the wall. But, yeah, there you go. So that is it, guys. That is my entire Halloween and Michael Myers collection. Now, I do have the two... Um, I did pre-order both the Screen Factory Steelbooks, and I did get both the Halloween 2 and Halloween 3 lithographs that came with those, but I decided not to bring them out because it's kind of hard for me to roll them out, and then I have to set something on both ends of them so that they don't uh, roll up, and I didn't want to set anything heavy on them, so I decided not to show those off, but I do have both the Halloween 2 and Halloween 3 lithographs that came with the, uh, when you pre-ordered the Steelbooks, I do have those, but other than that, that is my entire Halloween and Michael Myers collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I say in all these videos, let me know what you guys think about my entire collection. And if you want to do a video response and let me know or show me what you got in your Halloween and Michael Myers collection, I would love to see it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.